Continuing our series on home automation, today we're going to cover the Shelly Relays, specifically the Dimmer 2. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. It really helps out. Shelly produces an impressive line of smart Wi-Fi relays that can be ran locally to control almost anything. The Shelly 1 is a smart relay allowing you to control a number of things. I'm using it to control my garage door and I have installed one on my fireplace. The Shelly 1PM is a single switch with power monitoring but can handle up to 16 amps, great for small appliances. The Shelly 2.5 is two switches in one. This is great for many of the switch panels that have two or more switches. The Shelly RGB is a smart device that allows you to control RGB LED strips, giving you the ability to change the color and intensity. And lastly, the Shelly Dimmer 2 will allow you to control the intensity of your lights. Today, I will cover the Shelly Dimmer 2 and control a pair of lamps. Looking at the wiring diagram, I'll be using the line, neutral, and load, but will not be using this switch. Since I am using the dimmer on a pair of lamps, I modified an extension cord, but you can install the dimmer in an outlet box. Consult a licensed electrician if you are unsure or uncomfortable working with electricity. Now that we have the dimmer wired up, let's configure it in the Shelly app. Open the Shelly app on your phone. Click the menu bars in the upper right and select Add Device. Now enter your Wi-Fi information and click Next. Select your device and click Include Devices. Your phone may ask you to connect to the device. Click Connect. Now enter a name for your device. You could choose a picture. Then select a room the device is in. When you're done, click Save Device. Now the device has been configured. We can now turn the lamps on and off and control the brightness. Next, we need to calibrate it by clicking Start Calibration. Now we need to get the IP address. Click on Settings, then scroll down and click on Device Information. Write down the IP address. I like to then go into my router and make the IP static so it doesn't change. Every router is different, so you'll have to look up how to do it on your router. Now open Home Assistant and click on Configure, then Integrations. Click Add Integration. Search for Shelly and click on it. Now for Host, enter the IP address you wrote down earlier and click Submit. You should see your device. Now assign it to an area. If you need to add an area, click on Add New Area at the bottom. Give it a name and click Add. Now select the area you added and click Finish. Under Integrations, find the Shelly card and look for your device and click on it. Click Rename and give it a name, then click OK. Now the device has been added to Home Assistant. Click on Overview, scroll to the area, and click on the device, then on Settings in upper right corner. Change the name and click Update. Now the device is ready to use. If you have the Home Assistant app, open it. Scroll to the area and you can now control the dimmer. <laughs> 